to the fourth week of Toddler Ballet. Um, thanks so much for following me and enjoying the classes. I hope you have. Um, I know my little ones really have enjoyed doing it in the lounge once I filmed it. So um, yeah, thank you for the support. Um, so if you're joining us for the first time this week, um, my name is Sabina Cox and I am a ballet teacher. I teach um, toddlers predominantly at the moment. Um, but I used to be a ballerina um, a little while ago with the Royal Ballet um, and so now I just love teaching. So I thought I'd share some classes with you online um, to enjoy in your homes. Um, so I always bring my little toddler ballet bunny and she watches to make sure that I'm doing everything as well as I possibly can. So I'm going to give her a little seat here. Hopefully you can see her. And we shall start with our warm up. So to begin, we're going to reach up to the ceiling for four. So with sparkly fingers, if you can remember from the last week. So one, two, three, four, crouch to the floor. One, two, three, floor. One, two, three, four, down, two, three, four. Out and in, and out and in, star jumps. Out and in, and out and in. Fifth, releve and balance, and fifth, releve, and balance, no wobbles, and repeat again, one, and two, and three, and four, and crouch, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and crouch, two, three, four, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, fifth, releve, balance, and fifth, releve, balance. That's hard work on the ankles. So if we can see if when we releve, we have really strong ankles with no wobbling, and it'll really help if we pull up our bodies, so we're really tall, and we pull in our tummies as well. So suck in all that breakfast or lunch, so that it's all flat as we can and really strong. No wobbling around. Ooh, there we go. Right, let's have a go. Pulling up 
in the middle bit of my foot there. And then I'm doing the plies. I'm relaxing the knee. So actually the plie in this exercise is the relax. So it's like you're breathing out as you plie, but still feeling tall. So it's a bit like opposites. I'm going down, but I still want to feel pulled up. Yeah? Because I'm not going down and thinking, oh, I'm going to hunch my back. That's it. It's the plie time. No, my knees are relaxing and I'm going down, but I'm still feeling pulled up. Yeah. Lovely. With the best diamonds. The best diamonds we can have. Wonderful. All right. We're going to do our spring points next, which was one of my favourite exercises a couple of weeks ago. So if you have a skirt, hold onto your skirt. If you don't have a skirt, there. And if we're a boy, you can put your hands on your waist, all right? So I've got my skirt, so I'm going to hold my skirt. And I'm going to go one and two and three, and a point and point and point, and a one and two and three, and a point and point and point, and a one and two and three, and a point and point and point, and boohooray that way, and boohooray that way. Yes? So, my spring points, I'm changing the legs in front of me, and I've said it before, imagining that the floor is hot. So I'm not dropping my leg into the floor and just smashing it down where it might hurt my toes. I'm actually doing a really light, that's called a PK, and then I do the same on the other leg. Yes? So if we can practice being as quiet as we can on those taps. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Yes? And then when we do the burrows, my feet are crossed in a fifth position, and I'm going up to the ceiling there, and I'm going up to the ceiling there. Yes? And my eyes are looking to the fingers, the very tops of the fingers, same on the other side. So I'm not going, when I go bure, I don't just stop there. I'm actually making sure that my focus is on my hand. And my hand is traveling all the way up there, isn't it? My hand's going all the way up the side. So I'm gonna make sure I really follow it well with my eyes. Let's have a little go. Right, so. We're doing so well. We're learning so much week on week. And it's sometimes good to refresh some of the things that we've done just so that we're practicing them well um, and gaining strength in the right way. So that was really good. Now, gallops. 
So gallops, we're going to do something a bit similar to our pony shots, but not actually. So we'll be in the same grip as though we're holding on to our pony's reins. And we're going to go to, this is my right foot, I'm going to use my right foot. I'm going to get gallop forward. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And a one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Gallop. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So, if I had a little bit more room, I'd be travelling across the room and travelling back with my gallop. But at the moment, I don't have quite so much space. So I'm going to just go round in a circle. And a gallop is just like that. Yeah, so I'm stepping onto my leg and I'm bringing my back leg to it. So I end up in a fifth position in the air. Yes. So I do four of those gallops and then I do four jumps in fifth position. So they're like this. I go, a jump, two, three, four. Yes. So it's four gallops holding my pony and four jumps in fifth with my arms going up to fifth and round the side. Yes. Let's see if we can have a go. So just try and find a nice space wherever you are to try and go in a circle and then we'll manage our fifth position jumps. So, go. One, two, three, four. 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 And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good. That should have got us really warm. I even hit the light. I was jumping high. Yes. So gallops are really, the key is to remember to bring that back leg forward. So I'm stepping up and onto it. Have a little practice just with one. Da. Yes. So that helps bring us forward. So I'm not just stepping onto it and staying behind. I'm stepping onto it and travelling forward. There we go. All right. Now, we're going to do something that will relax us a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to start in a little first position. And this is called a pull de bras, okay? So I'm going to go chasse and fourth position, chasse and up, chasse, plie, fourth position, plie and up. First, I'm going to bend forward and put my nose on my knees. Now do another one. Over we go. I'll do it the other way. Chasse and fourth, plie and fifth. Oh, bang my head. And plie and fourth, plie and fifth. First and over the legs. Coming through the first with your arms and over the legs. And open. All right. So with a port de bras, the focus is actually port de bras in French. The port de bras means the carriage of the arms. So the idea with port de bras is to have our focus to be really thinking about where our arms are going. Yes? So I'm really concentrating on my fingers and on my arms. All right? So instead of really focusing on the ends of my toes or anything else in my body, which I, I can be thinking of, I'm actually focusing mostly on how my arms are moving. All right, let's have a little go. So, there we go. In first. Lovely feeling tall. And chasse. 
one high arm and one lower arm. shake it all about. So that is the end of our session this time. So we'll do our little reverence first. Ready, at, step, and curtsy, and step, and curtsy. For boys, step, and bow, and step, Um, for joining me and I will see you next week hopefully.